to crash into a tank. No, it's not. They're going to transform into one robot. Introducing Duocons, Decepticon 2-in-1s. They think they're twice as tough as any Autobot, and maybe they are. Well, with that out of the way, hey everyone, Sam 84 here, and we got a little news update. We're getting the Duocon Battle Trap. So, but we're getting it a little bit differently than how G1 did it. We're going to get Legends Class figures of Battle Slash and Road Trap. So, in this episode, I'm going to do things a little bit differently. I'm going to show you the G1 figures and then put up the pictures of what's coming, um, what will be coming out. So, now, different than G1, this is the new Legends figures. Each vehicle will have a robot instead of just the G1 way of merging this guy with this guy to get the one robot um which I, I do like and this way when they do combine uh, they are a little bit taller and i'll put the picture up now than legends class but a little bit shorter than deluxe class so that is a good thing so it makes it a little bit more worth their while to combine uh, makes it more like a deluxe so that's nice that's a nice little feature um so these are the G1s, and I'm going to go ahead and read you the bio, the tech spec bio for Battle Trap. He's the wrestling tag team of robots. Likes to trap his foe between his jeep and helicopter vehicles and have fun with him. Knock him back and forth a bit before finally destroying him. Okay, I'm not going to read you their vehicle speeds and all that part, that, and it's in part of the bio, but that is what you get out of this guy. And he's also supposedly the only one of the Duocons who has a cohesive mind. Uh, whereas Flywheels will argue with himself, this guy is just pure going to kill you guy. So, we'll just look at his helicopter mode first. And yes, I have the only weapon this guy comes with attached to the inside, which you can you know, detach. And then this is what will be known as Battle Slash. Now, robot mode, I do like it. It's it's different, and it, like I said, with each of these characters having robot mode, it's going to give them a little more uh, creativity, a little more playability, a little more life, so you can do more things with them. So you can see the helicopter modes; they, they are similar, and you finally get a robot mode for this one vehicle here. Now here is road trap. What would be called road trap in the new uh, Power of the Primes line, and I said they really did hit the vehicle mode, especially on the front ends of both of them. Uh, the back ends, from the pictures I can tell, look like they suffer a bit for the combining gimmick, but the front ends, they do look good and do closely resemble their G1 counterparts. And the robot mode on this one, I think I like a little bit better than the one on the helicopter. Alright, so here's the combined way to do these guys. He's got these little tabs. And he's got these little... He's got this port here, but these right here will fold out. You can see he's loose. And that'll become right, his arms. But it'll push out. It doesn't work so well anymore because this is old. And I never actually had this one as a kid. I bought it probably about 10 years ago. So, off another collector. All you want to do is just tab those three ports in like so. And it's supposed to Pop them up release. It's not working the way it's supposed to. You go ahead. There you go. There's that part. The helicopter mode tab is very well. So there you go. This is what you get. This is the G1 mode. And then we'll show you the comparison with the coming up Power of the Primes one. And I think the Power of the Primes nailed it. It looks really good. Um, you're going to get more uh, posability, playability. Uh, you can get a bigger figure. It's going to be better all around. I know you got your G1 nostalgia going for this guy. This guy here will kick, kick, hit, and check all the boxes that I want anyway. So, and I think the head sculpts are really good. And the new one on Power of the Primes nails it. I think it looks really, really well. And that thing I can show you do with this little gun here. You've got little ports on either side. that You can tab it in on either arm. That you want 
Yeah, if he's down and when he wants to fire, he can he can come up because you know there's no articulation on this figure whatsoever, except for maybe uh, you want to call it an oh, uh, ab crunch. Uh, but yeah, you see his hands are right here; they, they're stuck there. You're not doing anything with them. Head is not going to turn. You can spin the blades if you want. Does so that, and he does roll. But yeah. So overall, I can't wait for this line of figures. Uh, they're coming in the Legends class along with Tailgate, who is a repaint of Wind Charger with a new head sculpt, and that will also be mine. But yeah, there we go. There's the back end of this guy. Side view. Uh, I go ahead and just do this. I'm gonna go ahead and just show you how to disconnect. I guess you just you know fold them up and just take this guy off. And just fold them all back up. And you can, with this weapon here, there's a port here. You can plug this in there if you want the, uh, you know, the Jeep to have it, the truck mode. Or if you want the helicopter to have it, you can see you got the one here. It's where I had it because the color matches the helicopter. And I envision the helicopter to have guns underneath it anyway. So, <laughs> but there you go. That is Battle Trap. And we'll be getting a Battle Trap out of Battle Slash and Road Trap. I'm going to screw those names up. But yeah. Um, I liked and I see them do a Flywheels. I know they did do a Titan Master. And they called them Skytread. Um, I guess they don't have the rights to name Flywheels. But now doing it this way with the Powers of Problems, they can do that by just giving him two different names. And then you can do the old, you get the old G1 name by taking the first part of the first guy's name and the last part of the next guy's name because you got battle slash road trap, battle trap, and they combine. He, he's like what, battle slash and he's road trap. So battle goes on top of trap, you get battle trap. So you do it the other way, you can get his flywheels. I don't know what you want to call it, jet, fly wings, I don't know. Uh, fly something. And then you can have tread wheels, if you want to call them like that. You can have. So you have tread wheels and you can have fly whatever and then when you combine it, you have fly wheels. So they don't actually have to say fly wheels. But and you still get tread in there. Um, you can't do fly sky because that just sounds crap, but tread wheels isn't as bad. Anyway, uh thanks for watching. I just wanted to get that out there, some little news bits, and do it a little differently, showing you off the showing you off. Show showing you the G1 version of Battle Trap. Anyway, thanks for watching to the next one. Peace out.